Uh, let's upgrade the rank. We went from Grandmaster to Diamond. Oh my gosh, Bell W! Thank you for the five gifted subs. See, look, it's here, chat. I'm not a scammer. Look, I'm not a scammer. It's real. Based. Did you get anybody who we can see here? I don't think I recognize any of those names. I don't think I've ever heard of Subway Barista. With sword and Free recorded subs. Chat, for those of you who don't know, this is the new technology on Gangplank for the new season. Fleet footwork, Riot kind of nerfed every single rune in the game and made Fleet pretty strong. So that's why we're going Fleet. I am reborn of salt and that's literally the only reason why we go fleet is because Riot made it, made this all intentionally. Why no lethal tempo? Because I'm trying to win my games. <laughs> because I want to win my games. Approach velocity? Dude, I think approach velocity can be good into some matchups. I don't know what else I'd even take. Like, like honestly, I don't know what I'd take. Like, I don't really care about stopwatch. I'm not taking stopwatch because it's all, it's going to be removed. Next season, this will be triple tonic instead. Next season, this will be triple tonic. Yeah, stop what it'll be triple tonic and then futures or biscuits. Cosmic? Cosmic is also good. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, you guys actually have good answers, but like, no, I'm not doing that, okay? Like, like you guys are all making logically sound arguments actually true for like boots or uh cosmic insight. But I want you guys to know, I'm not going to do that. So now what? Guns and oranges? Are you a cliche or a joke? Die. Fight! Die! This is Mercy and Bilgewater. Let's start potting. We need pot. More powder. Pot. Nice. Now that we have started pushing the lane, we want to slow push the lane, but J4 could also early gank. So the question is, can I win the 1v2? If I can win, if the answer to can I win the 1v2 is yes, then I can slow push the wave and crash on the third or fourth. If the answer is no, then I crash on the second or third wave. I knew he would E forward. He has Q3 up still. Now it's on cooldown. We can get a nice little fleet proc the next time he walks up. And that's nice help. Yep, we can win the one. The one v two will crash on the fourth wave. I'm gonna ping assistance early on. We're gonna put two points in Q here because we're ahead, right? If we weren't ahead, then I wouldn't put two points in Q. But we're super far ahead that I can just do that. I'm gonna pop a pot. When he got waters this minion, we Q him because that's a guarantee, right? I'm not just willy nillying. When he goes for cannon, same thing. Why? Because these are guarantees. Everybody wants to get those objectives, right? Everybody wants a cannon minion. Everybody wants to get gold. Just poking him down. I'm gonna pay assistance again because my jungler didn't come for some reason. He should be coming. A turn back deserves a life. Alright. We have a lot more gold in this guy. We have Futures Market, so we could buy Sheen. But it looks like we're just gonna go for a kill on J4. I'm just gonna recall. The wave is slow pushing towards me. There's nothing we can really do about it. We'll recall TP. Yo, Solar Baka, it's J Baka here. Do you reviews? If so, how can I get that? You need to use it doing the channel points. Since we know J4 cleared his topside camps, I don't need to buy a control ward, and I don't need to ward any of these bushes either. We can just play the lane as normal. Dodge that. Use the movement speed. Combo him. Then. Because of fleet footwork, we're able to run out of his W pretty reliably, and also avoid his Q2E. And now he's going to TP back, but the wave's in a really good spot for us, so we're chilling. Has been slain. Why would he kill himself like that? Because if he lands, if a, for those of you who have ever played against Aatrox in your entire life, you know that if Aatrox ends up landing, landing.
Not yet. Okay, now we'll back up. If you get hit by one Aatrox ability, you lose your entire health bar. But I do. Do I trade one for one? I got shit on. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I kind of got shit on. The way that I kill him there is if I kept my orange. But I got shit on there. Take back what's but yeah, mine. if you get hit by one Aatrox ability, he can just hit the rest on you. If you get hit by one Aatrox ability, then you kind of just die. But if you dodge his ability, then you're chilling. Hate is a child. He ends up getting a plate here. He's going to recall in that middle bush. Do I even care that much? Oh, he died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, do I even care that much? Can I even kill him? Yeah, we can. I want that cannon minions to die if possible. Nice. Alright, we could buy Cloak or we could just go Caulfield. I'm trying to think about what would be best. I think I'm just gonna go this. I think I'm gonna do this, and since they're padding back top, I'll buy uh, Elixir as well. Or sorry, not Elixir, uh, Controller. We're gonna ult right here. Yeah, that's a good GP ult. And we get a kill? Oh, yeah. Facing. Aatrox could be flanking around right now, so I'm just gonna wait, walk like right here. I'm gonna farm with Q and we're gonna sit right here, because if Aatrox flanks me, I die 100 to 0. Ah, we'll ward right here. We'll ward like this. Six months in a row. Love the stream, brother. Less than three. Your only viewer from Tunisia. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate Death it. Spit me out. Get a nice one part angle. We can dodge this Q. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of just fine here. We could kind of just walk it off. Nice, we got his ult out. We get his ult out and we have the wave on our side. Oops, sorry. Their kidneys out. <laughs> I'll burn it all down if I can't have it. Another. <laughs> Decent. Yeah, Fleet's already given me 600 health and healing. Alright, now we just walk back to lane. I've got my ult up too. An enemy is unstoppable. Alright, let's do this.
Hmm. I'll hack my way back to Bilgewater. What I did there was a triple passive reset, which is pretty good. Pretty sure that was triple at least. Basically, I know that Aatrox is going to ignore my initial barrel, so I combo it backwards and we get a double passive reset like that. Yeah, I think it was just double passive and then a triple after. What happened to Grasp? It sucks. I'm kind of fine. I think I just have to flash the bolt. Uh, I can't live. The only way I could have lived is if I flash and then I like take the blast cone, but I don't think that's like reliable. Alright, so we're gonna do is double cloak. I like taking double cloak against Aatrox because I feel like I just kill him. Also, my approach velocity is not giving me shit right now, but I think it will later. We'll get one Q on him, and then walk back, and that just wins us the lane right there. Being Playing as Aatrox is kind of just, you just win one trade, and then you're chilling. <laughs> oh, that's kind of unlucky. The J4 was smart enough to... Wow. I'm not going to lie to that J4 was really smart. He was hitting me, and he was hitting the barrel instead of hitting me. If he had hit me, then I'm able to hit the barrels and he dies. Yo, bro, send the VOD. Bro! I'm so stupid. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, dumbs. Fuck me. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta open it. Fuck. Chat, I did 2v2 with people from EU. Yes, I know. EU. I did 2v2v2 with a bunch of people from EU. I know, I was the only NA import. I keep forgetting to upload it to Drive. Because I'm a bad person. As it appears. J4 could easily be top again. So what am I going to do? Am I going to play smart and like sit back and relax? No, I am going to try to outplay it. Nine That's Nine fucking annoying. Sub baby. Yes, sir. I found my hate in the fire. I think he'll walk up to push the next wave. Huge! Dude, we're gonna have to carry this game, by the way. We have 5 out of 9 kills. Stanky Queen is 11-0. 7-0, sorry. Will you get the next patchy ability point elixir? Yes, it's very broken. So I want you guys to know in season 14, you're able to get a skill point as a rune, an extra skill point. So you essentially like level up, I guess, right? For gangplank, that means you get four barrels at level nine instead of level 10, and you get five barrels at level 12 instead of level 13. So it's pretty damn good on GP. I want to be able to afford my Navori. Back deserves I'll push one wave. Actually, no, 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 no. Let me not breathe. What's the condition for it? You just need to hit level 9. You just need to take a rune. Like You literally just pick the rune and champ select, and you get an extra skill point at level 9. That's it. That's all you have to do. An ally has been slain. 
guys. And we're about to hit level 13, which is huge. Oh! My Sheen Proc! You get a pretty early Sheen with the extra gold from the first one. It's 40 gold. If you combine that with first or with uh, Future's Market, which I think you can take, right? Then I think it's good. I don't think it's anything. I still think, Sheed, you're always going to get later. Like, it's 40 gold or whatever. I think I'm pretty sure it's only 40 gold. Like, that's not that big of a deal. But it helps because it means you can miss the minions. But I do think it's the best one easily. I definitely believe it's the best one. Only because when you get four barrels at level nine, I, I know I've said this before, but Gangplank is a champion that could kill any top lane matchup in the game with four barrels. Olaf, you can only kill with four barrels. Aatrox, you can kill with four barrels. Fiora, you can kill with four barrels. Like, these are all champions where if you have access to four barrels instead of three, you can just win. Alright, we're gonna have to carry this game. We have 7 out of 15 kills. Our team is kind of running it down a little bit. I will hit no. And now I have to think of what I want to do. I think I'm gonna go swift these. All right, it's time to impact the map. So we're playing in diamond right now. The enemy team has a lead. Your entire team is running it down. Your jungler is a useless character. Your mid and bot lane are running it. How can you win? Well, I'm going to try and show you. We're level 13, so we want to look for fights. The sea has no memory, but I do. I stepped on awards. They know I'm here. I'm making a call to push towards mid lane if possible. My teammates are failures, unfortunately. My teammates are like really bad people. Hate is a be careful with like this guy. Word. This guy one shots my ass. They still haven't warded over this wall though, which is good for us. Maybe we can start walking bot side. Kill him! Kill him! If you kill her, it's worth. Oh, huge. The Lucian kind of spawned out of nowhere, but it's okay because we're able to get the kill. Nice! We got two kills. Uh, I think Zareth just dies here. He's like over... He's overreaching for sure. Bro just dies to J4. Zareth looks like he's gonna farm top wave. Nope. He'll die, which is good for us, because that means I get top wave. A reckoning we need we need to kind of make a miracle happen on the map. I should have TP much earlier. Footwork movement speed there. Huge. Swifties played a big part there. That was nice. 
An enemy has been slain. We were able to kill the Lux and get rid of her Medrai stacks, which is the biggest deal out of everything. We have no idea where Lucian is. If Lucian's bot and I die, take me. So so be it. Take my life, Lucian. Take everything from me. Okay, nice. J4 is the only one who's alive. I can get a lot of fleet footwork, but I think I can also get a lot of health. There's a good chance that they're going to try to kill me here. I'm not sure what I can do about it. Yeah, I can't do much about it. It's alright, though. I was able to get 700 gold from that turret, and even though Lux gets gold, we're chilling. I knew I was probably dead, but it's okay. Those two tiers are worth it? Always. Uh, then again, my team just died, so we lose this dragon, which means that we go to soul point, but it's fine. For sure gonna go BT next, but shield bow's also good. Down if I can't have it. With a ring back? Yeah. There's a chance that they try to do Baron or that Lucian pushes for bot. Considering there's four people in mid lane, it tells me that they might want to go for Baron. So I'm going to start walking towards it right now. But they, they just caught me on vision. Nah, I can't walk. They just caught me on vision, but I have GP ult if they need it. No, I will go. Hack my way back to Bilgewater. <laughs> Damn, that was actually really close. The Zillion and the Lux are perma-traveling together. The Zillion speeds her up so that she can't miss her ability. I think I'm better off grouping instead of side laning. I think me side laning the way that I am is not doing too much to help out the team only because... Nice! The Lux is traveling with Zillion. If Lux is solo, I can kill her, but Zillion being there does not help me out at all. My GPR, this J4 dies here, but the enemy has been slain. Hard to play. Zillion's kind of making my life terrible. I got a recall. Oh, and Lux from downtown snipes me. Zillion's playing well. He's kind of 1v9. I, I can't even lie. The Zillion's kind of 1v9. Perma slowing, Perma double bombing, and also his ult. He is playing well. Bard, when I'm with you, you can ult anyone. Oh, my God. oh, he's farming chimes. Alright, so we've got a group. I'm gonna go here. I need my item, guy. Toss them to the sharks. 
bro. I just need one wave, bro. Another. Seventy-five percent crit, by the way. No crit. There's nothing to fight here. Killing is the only way to serve. Betrayal steals like salt on a wound. Bro, this zillion man. Ult himself double bombs me. Fuck me, man. This zillion is <laughs> actually ruining my life. Did Zara just throw one instance of his ult? Fuck the buy now. Killing Lux is good there, but... Do you know Zillion ult is reduced by anti-heal? No. I did not know that. Well, now they have the Lux and they have the Zillion. I rarely forget and never forget. You know why Aatrox reaches me there too? Zillion, I heard the little thing, he sped him up. Like, I can't even lie, we're actually getting so far 1v9 by the fucking zillion. Lux one problem me? I mean, I, I expect Lux to do damage, but... Like, look at this guy, man! Oh! There's a zillion ult! She had her W back up. And I still don't have my second ult upgrade. We have to give mid a nip. Bar is actually a good answer to Zillion, but only if you're a good Bard player. If you're not a good Bard player, then you don't actually counter Zillion. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. 95% and I'm not printing there either. Hmm. Hang them from the slaughter docks. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Can we kill Aatrox? Oh fuck, his entire team is here. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead as fuck. Their entire team is behind us. At least Aatrox died. Zareth, I think, needs the ult. If Zareth activates his R button, I think we can win. Alright, Zareth, let's see the R. Okay. He's a hero? He's actually a hero! He landed every single ult somehow. He threw more than one! Yes, he's 1v9. 
vengeance will be bloody. My second ult? I did. Are you based in Kuwait? But Bro, I... this is Summoner's Rift. If I get Mortal Reminder... An ally has been slain. Bro, I keep thinking I need items, but then again, it's just Zillion, you know what I mean? Like, I need Zillion to die. <laughs> I don't need like an item. I need this guy to die. Enemy killing spree. If Zillion does not die, we cannot win. I need this dumbass to die. Bro, how are you man? She stood still. Okay. Oh hell no. Carry a bard. Bro, I need carry a bard right now actually. Come on. Bro, look at the all the zillion. Them away from my barrel. The Lucian kicked him away from my barrel. He was on. The Lucian was on a trap. The Lucian was on a trap. <laughs> All right, GG.